hello. You like to fly? Well, there's also magazines out there. So if you like to order some, order from flying. All right, have a good one. All right, anyway, we're on Genesis in the Bible. And we're on chapter 19. Saddam and Gomorrah destroyed. Genesis chapter 19, verse 1. The two angels arrived at Saddam in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside on your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered. We will spend the night in the square. But he insists. But he insisted. So strongly that they did go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed... All the men from every part of the city of Saddam, both young and old, surrounded the house they called a, to, a lot. Where are the men who came to the to, came to you tonight? Being bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Chapter nineteen, verse six, Genesis. Lot went outside to meet them and shut the door behind him and said, No, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. But don't do anything to these, these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of your, get out of our way, they replied. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to play the judge. We'll treat you worse than them. They kept bringing pressure on Lot and moved forward to break down the door. But the men said, but the men inside reached out and pulled Lot back into the house and shut the door. Then they shut the men who were at the door of the house, young and old with blindness, so that they could not find the door. The two men said to Lot, Do you have anyone else here? Sons-in-law, sons or daughters, or anyone else in the city who brings to you? Get them out of here, because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry to the Lord against its People is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his son-in-law, son who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, hurry and get out of his place, because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking. With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, hurry Take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hand and the hands of his wife and of his two daughters and led them safely out of the city, for the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flee for your lives. Don't look back. And don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. Your servant has found favor in your eyes. And you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me, and I'll die. Look here. 
in a town near enough to run to, and it is small, then my life will be spared. He said to him, Very well. I will grant this request too. I will not over row the town you speak of, but flee there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you reach it. That is why the town was called Zor. By the time Lot reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Saddam and Gomorrah. From the Lord out of the heavens, does he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land? But Lot's wife looked back and she pillar of salt. She became a pillar of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and replied turned to the place where he stood before the Lord. He looked down towards Sodom and Gomorrah toward all the land of the plain and saw he dense smoke rising from the land like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and he thought a lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. Lot and his daughters, Lot and his daughters left Zor and settled in the main mountains, for he was afraid to stay in Zor. He and his two daughters lived in a cave. One day the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old. And there was no man around her to give us children, as is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father. That night, they got their father to drink wine. And the older daughter went in and slept with him. He was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. The next day, the older daughter said to the younger, last night I slept with my father. Don't sleep with your father. Shh, don't do that. Last night, no, let's get him to drink wine again tonight. Don't drink wine, don't, don't, don't drink wine. No. And you go in and sleep with him so we can preserve our family line through our father. So, they get, they got their father to drink wine that might that night also, and the younger daughter went in and slept with him. Again, he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. The old, the older daughter had a son, and she named him M O A B. Moab. He is the father of the mobilities of today. The younger daughter also had a son, and she named him Ben Ami. Ben Ami? Ben Ami? B E N A M M I. He is the father of the Ammonides. Ammonites? Ammonites? of today. Thank you. That was chapter nine in Genesis. Enjoy your day. Thank you.